Hi guys, today let's look into a detailed syllabus of NATA that is marks distribution, time slots, type of questions, duration and questions divided in part A and part B. This video will be divided into parts. Here we will discuss in detail about part A that is the drawing paper and the next video will be on part B. I have explained the whole procedure of NATA and how it is carried out in my last video. Do check it out. As mentioned in the last video, NATA is conducted twice this year. That is on 19th of April and 31st of May and has a slight variation in the distribution of marks and addition of subjects when compared to the syllabus of 2019. The first exam is on 19th of April 2020 which is a Sunday. The exam starts at 10 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. Let's look into part A for now. It is a drawing paper and you will be provided with A4 size paper. The total marks for this part of the paper is 125 and is divided in three questions. First question carries 35 marks which is a 2D drawing question. Second question carries 35 marks which will be a 3D drawing question. And the third question carries 55 marks and is a memory drawing question. Did you all notice the difference in the distribution of marks? That is because the 35 marks questions are like Make an interesting 2D composition with 5 playing cards. Use any 3 colors. The next question is Using triangles, rectangles, circles, semicircles and squares Represent a tree Use any three colors if you wish In this 2D question Your creativity, creating interesting composition And visually balanced drawing is expected The next is a 3D question Which again carries 35 marks so let's look at the examples. The first example is create a sculpture from four cubes where some cubes are opaque and some are transparent. Show the effect of light and shadow. Create an interesting sculpture using the basic 3D shapes of sports gear found in a cricket kit. For example, wickets, ball, etc. You can scale each object to any size of your choice and use them in multiples but it has to have a minimum of 3 objects from a cricket kit. Draw the effect of light and shadow on your composition. If you can carefully observe here in this question they judge you for ability to sketch a given object proportionately and rendering the same in visually appealing manner. Now, the third question is for 55 marks. In this question, you are expected to pencil sketch on the themes of day-to-day -day experiences with perspective as its most important factor. One of the questions is Consider yourself to be a bird flying in an urban context with tall buildings and a lake surrounding it. Draw the skyline you can see with pencil and shade it. The next question is Imagine you have two guests at your apartment doorstep. Sketch a view from the peak hole of the door. Use appropriate pencil as a medium. The biggest challenge is the time constraint. According to me, you should attempt the 2D and the 3D question first and divide your time like 40 minutes for the first question that is for 35 marks and 40 minutes for the second question that is for 35 marks again. That makes 1 hour 15 minutes. Then you are left with another hour which can be properly utilized for the rest 55 marks. If you attempt the 2D and the 3D questions first, you will be sure of the first 70 marks and then go to the memory drawing. Make sure all the drawings are big enough, appealing and the entire A4 sheet is used. 
Also, I'll post videos on every question and try solving as many questions as possible. Stay tuned for the next video.